Hi everyone and welcome to another Imagineering Moment. My name is Catherine Jay and the purpose of the Imagineering Moment is to bring hope. So today is a bit of a full-on topic but it's just every, like I'm in Sydney, every day I hear people who are so desperate, who are um, crying um, and you know, and I've cried nearly every day as well. Sometimes listening to people who are inspirational, who are standing up against the loss of freedoms, and sometimes just my heart breaks for people who have just been in horrendous situations. Um, one that was very close to home, where, um, you know, in a doctor's office, where someone was just told, you know, issues with, um, you know, hypertension and even a heart murmur, was then told, get the jab. And I'm like, what are you talking about? There's blood clots, there's so much evidence that talks about the increased risk of blood clots, especially when you've got a family history of aneurysms and then getting told, get the jab. And then I've got, you know, another friend or other people I know who are doctors. Um, and this was, Tanya Davies was talking about it as well, the Liberal MP in New South Wales, thank God for Tanya Davies. And how APRA, the um, governing body over doctors has basically said, if you do not push the jab, then you will lose your license as doctors. So today, this Imagineering moment is to call out to anybody who has ever been bullied, anybody who has ever understood the coercive control nature, those who have fled a communist government, those who have been caught up in the occult, those who've been caught up in the drug scene, those that have been caught up in domestic violence. We all know what coercive control looks like. So I'm calling on you today, stand up stand up come together stand up against our loss of freedoms because it's time to imagine a better world where there is freedom of choice where there is freedom of religion where there is freedom to go outside to go to the park it's not about having a two-tier system where the vaccinated and the unvaccinated that's a typical strategy through history so today I'm calling on those who know, who understand the enemy and the nature of the coercive control. When we stand and pray, oh, pray, Second Chronicles 7.14, for those who are called by my name, if they would humble themselves, seek my face, pray, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land. So remember, we can change the world one day at a time, one person at a time, one decision at a time. Come join me to a better world. Thanks for watching.